When Bart Connor was a little boy growing up with two brothers in a suburb of Chicago, he discovered he had a talent. When I was in fourth grade, the PE teacher, his name was Les Lang, uh, he noticed I had a talent for doing handstands and he said, I'd like to take you over to the high school and introduce you someday to the high school coaches and maybe you could see what real gymnastics is all about. So I went over there on a Saturday morning and uh, it was 10 a.m. I'll never forget it. I mean, it's 41 years ago and I'll never forget it because as a little kid I walked into this incredible place, not unlike this, looks like a high-tech playground with rings and bars and trampolines and you know for a boy it just looked like Disneyland and uh, I was so excited to try the and the rings and the trampolines and uh, I got hooked on gymnastics that day. Uh, I started training with the high school kids and also at a YMCA on the other days of the week and uh, by the time I was 18 I made my first Olympic team as a high school senior which was quite rare because most of the men made the Olympics in their college years back then but uh, so I was one of the youngest Olympic gymnasts ever at uh, making the team at 17 and competing at 18 in my first Olympics in 1976. Bart's team came in seventh place in that first Olympic experience. He made the Olympic team for the next Olympics, but the Olympics were in Moscow that year, and the U.S. didn't participate. So he stuck around for four more years, and the rest is Olympic history. My last Olympic experience, uh, 1984 in Los Angeles, I was 26 years old. So I had gone from being the youngest and least experienced to the oldest guy barely hanging on, because back then, a 26-year-old male gymnast was pretty much at the end of the road. And uh, I was lucky enough to be on an amazing team with uh, three guys from UCLA, Peter Vidmar, Mitch Gaylord, and Tim Daggett. Two guys from Nebraska, Scott Johnson and Jim Hartung. And I was the lone Oklahoma Sooner. And uh, we had a magical night. It was one of those things that we had trained well, we had been prepared well, and uh, we all had the best competition of our lives all on the same night. I mean, you, you can't even write those scripts to happen that way. And we beat the reigning world champions from China to win the team gold medal by less than seven tenths of a point. So um, it was a thrill to be on that team. And, um, and that, that experience, I won an individual gold medal as well on the parallel bars. But that experience of being on an amazing team has sh forever shaped my life. Meeting a certain Romanian beauty would also change his life. In the spring of 1976, uh, in Madison Square Garden, USA Gymnastics hosted the first American Cup gymnastics competition in the bicentennial year. And uh, I competed in that event, and so did Nadia. It was her first time in the United States in a major international competition. Uh, she was 14 years old, and I was 17. And on the weekend of the competition, it was my 18th birthday. And on that Sunday, I won the competition, and she won the competition in Madison Square Garden. So that's where we first met. And it's funny because after the event was over, we were standing side by side holding up these big silver trophies. And uh, one photographer said, why don't you just lean over and give her a little kiss on the cheek and make a nice photo. So that photo ran the next day in the New York Times. And uh, it was a spectacular moment for me because three months later, she went on to win the Olympics and score the first perfect 10 in history. And I took 46th place. And so nobody really remembered me from the 76 Olympics. And uh, years later, when she first came to the United States in 1989, 20 years ago, um, we were on a television show together doing a little chit chat about our relationship and when we met. And uh, the TV host said, when did you meet? And I said, well, we met in uh, 1976. At the very same moment, Nadia said, 1981. And the host said, well, wait a minute, you're off by five years on when you met? I said, Nadia, don't you remember we were at Madison Square Garden, I gave you a little kiss on the cheek, and she's like, mm, no, I don't remember that. And then she goes, wait a minute, there was a little blonde guy there, and I'm like, that was me. They were married in 1996 at the Romanian President's Palace. Bart and Nadia's celebrity status has propelled their careers. Business partners with Bart's coach, Paul Zert, they have the Bart Connor School of Gymnastics in Norman. International Gymnastics Magazine, and a gymnastics supply company called Grips. Bart is often seen as a sports commentator on ESPN, and he's even been in the movies. For over 30 years, he's been involved with the Jerry Lewis Telethon and Special Olympics. And it started right here in Oklahoma. I was asked to teach a Special Olympics clinic at, up at uh, UCO. 
And uh, I just got connected with just the real pure joy of connecting with athletes who have intellectual disabilities and the great pleasure that they bring uh, and, and, and the pure excitement about their accomplishment was fabulous. And so um, in 30 years, of course, I'm on the board of directors of Special Olympics International. We travel the world helping Special Olympics. And I've been everywhere with Special Olympics. I mean, South Africa, Russia, China, India, Japan, Brazil, you name it, promoting sports for intellectual disabilities. Bart Connor followed his dream, worked hard to achieve his success, has given generously to others, and is dedicated to his beautiful family. He says it's all about choices. It just seems exactly what I was destined to do. Um, you know, I think back, I think in your life you only have a handful of big decisions, maybe three or four. Uh, the day I walked into the gym, I connected with, I felt like I belonged there. I could do a handstand on the parallel bars the first day. And somebody said, wow, you're really good. And I'm like, I am? And you know, any kid loves hearing that they're good at something. And all of a sudden I realized, I'm a gymnast. And that moment, that decision, that day has shaped my life. Uh, another key decision was moving to Oklahoma to be coached by Paul Zert. Because it took me from being 46 in the world to an Olympic champion and has shaped my life in terms of my post-Olympic career as well. Another key decision I made, and a, a lucky one, is finding Nadia Komenich. Uh, I'm very blessed that, uh, that uh, I'm married to her and that we have this spectacular little three-and-a-half-year-old kid, and uh, we share a life together that is, uh, that is truly blessed. Congratulations to Bart Connor, this year's Oklahoma City University's Minder School of Business honoree for the Entrepreneurial Spirit Award.